Welcome to the homework for lesson 16. This is module 6 of second grade and we're uh, we're shading to create a copy of the design on the empty grid. So we want to try and get it in the same spot and a lot of it has to do with just where you start. So this one it looks like this I'm going to start with I'm looking at this guy right here to be my the beginning of my design. So and that's two that's three what is it three squares over and two down so it looks like it's going to be you know if i looked at it like this it's in this corner of that box so i'm going to start it right here and now it looks like now i can just get everything one two three four across two three four across there and from the middle it's then there's a row of two in the middle and another row of two in the middle and then another row of four on the bottom to make kind of like a big eye I'm gonna need a bigger marker for this than I usually use okay so now this one is gonna start here and it goes all the way across until I have two left. So it's going to go to there. So there's my first row. And then I have this guy here, which is one down. And then I skip one and I shade in two. And then I skip one and shade in one. Okay, that's that row. And now I'm looking at this guy so I'm going to skip one color one skip two right these two here and color one and then okay then that's it for the row there's only two shaded in on that row on this row I'm going to do the first one right this guy here I'm going to shade this one in and then skip one skip that guy and then shade the next two one two skip that guy and then shade one more and the whole bottom row I'm gonna go all the way to there and just shade in the whole bottom row so this lesson is a little bit about location it's a little bit about rows and columns to figure out using rows and columns to figure out what to color when where and it's also about pay, paying attention to detail and just being careful all right so this guy here has ooh, he's got a little diagonal line here in the corner so this first row let's see the top row here has nothing and then this row here has I skip two and then I do half of the third one like that and then I color two right these two and then shade and half of the next one going in like that corner to corner and then the next row down I'm looking at a whole one underneath my half and then I skip two and then I do another hole the next row down here I have the second column in so there's my first one then I skip one and I color two and then I skip one and color one more and now I'm looking at this row here I skip two from the left we're always working from left to right here and then color one right that guy right there and then I'm gonna skip two and color one and now the bottom row here I'm going to skip two and color half like that and then color two holes and then I color half going up like that there 
and now create two different designs. Okay, well, I'm going to make I'm going to make a letter for this one. Well, there's no right obviously there's no right answer for this one. And if you know me a little bit, you might recognize the block S of Michigan State. And you don't have to make this to get it right. This It's a design, so make any design you want. And now there's two different ones, so that's one, and then you don't have to copy it. So I'm going to make it, because it says different, so I'm going to make a different design here. And I'm just going to do, let's see, what happens if I just do this? I'm just going to make something kind of random here. A half a one there, and what if I do a half a one here, like that? I'm not trying to make it look like anything, just making some kind of a pattern to see what it looks like when I'm done. Totally random here. But stay within the boxes, right? Use the boxes to make the pattern. So we use half boxes or whole boxes, but I'm not just going to make a big scribble on them over the grid. And as I'm working on it, I might come up with an idea for what to how to finish it and make it look like something. Let's see. So maybe if I, I've got two here on this row, so maybe if I make two here above, it'll just kind of balance out or look like something. I'm not sure what that looks like. I don't know why, but I'm thinking air traffic control tower. Could be anything. It's just weird. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It doesn't have to be anything. Use colored pencils to create a design in the bolded square section. Create a tessellation by repeating the design throughout. So colored pencils to create a design in the bolded. Okay, so this is the bolded section here. And I'm just going to make a design. So this is use colored pencils. So I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use, you know, pink and green are the easiest ones for me to work with right now. So I know that's kind of goofy colors, but you can just make this design. The, the whole idea is that you're just going to use this. This is going to be your design you're going to copy over and over again. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do pink, 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 like that. And I'm going to put green in the middle. Now here's the big idea. The big idea is this, that now you've got, that's your unit and you're going to copy it again and again with every three by three section. So in this one here, and this is what tessellation is about. So repeating the design. So here I'm going to make the same thing. Pink, 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 left, right, top and bottom, green in the middle. Same thing again. Left. And you don't have to draw the border, right? I'm just doing that to show that the unit is repeating. It doesn't say you have to do that. And, but it might help you to see what you have to do to keep copying that first un that unit and keep repeating it there and then you might see after you make this first bunch of them you might see a way to just kind of hurry it up a little bit because of course you're making a pattern and the whole idea about patterns is once you see them they're easy to repeat so we might see here starting here i'm gonna go pink pink see where they end pink pink, pink, just meeting the ends right there. And then 
this row is going to go, right, because that was this row here. Now this row is going to go here. So it's going to go pink, green, pink, pink, green, pink, pink, green, pink, pink, green, pink, 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 green, 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 green. Let's see if I can make an even bigger marker. This might go a little bit faster. All right. And then this row here is going to be just pink. Yeah, that's better. And then pink, the pink ones are they're just going to go underneath the green squares. And by now you might be seeing another pattern going down this column. You might see, oh, it goes pink, green, pink, pink, green, pink, pink, green. So I'm going to, you know, I'm going to just use that. It's two pinks going down and then a green. Two pinks going down and then a green and then a pink. Two pinks going down, a green and then a pink. Two pinks going down and a green and a pink. And I can get those green guys here. There. 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 And there. And then, let's see, this row here is going to be, that's, that's done. And this row here, I just got to fill in pink, everything that's not green. All done. And you don't have to draw this, but I'm going to do it just to show you that where the, all the units are. The little three by three grids. They should all come out. That one there. There's one there. So you can see every one is going to have that same unit all through it.